In this video tutorial, we'll learn how to make a histogram. We have taken an example, and in this example, we have data that shows ages of 45 teachers of a school, starting from serial number one of a teacher up to serial number 45. We have 45 ages of 45 teachers of a school. Now, in order to make a histogram, first of all, histogram is important because this data is not well organized at all. You cannot draw any conclusion from this data. Okay, so you can draw the histogram for this data. Now, the first step to draw histogram for this data is you have to prepare grouped frequency distribution. And the group frequency distribution for this uh, data will be this one. Now, if you don't know how to prepare group frequency distribution, then you can watch the video tutorial whose link you'll find in the description box below. First watch that video because the first step for to prepare a histogram is to draw or prepare group frequency distribution. Now, what does this tell us? This tell us that this tells us that in the class interval that is 20 to 25, it tells the age starting from 20 up to 25. So between age 20 and 25, we have two teachers. Between 25 to 30, we have six. Between 30 to 35, we have six and so on and so forth. Now, this is the first step to draw the histogram for this data. The histogram for this data can be drawn like this. Here, we have the histogram. On the x-axis, we have age in years. And on the y-axis or the vertical line, the horizontal line, the vertical line. On the vertical line, we have number of teachers. And on the horizontal line, we have age in years. Now, you can see here, the width of each of these bars is equal, right? The width is equal for each of these bars. And on this vertical line, we have these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. That is the frequency. Frequency is what? It tells us that how many teachers come fall under each of these classes. That is class interval that represents the ages. Okay. So the width of these bars will be same and that will be what? The difference between the upper limit and the lower limit. That's why I'm saying that first watch that video on the group frequency distribution so that you can better understand. The difference between the higher upper limit and the lower limit is here is what? 5. Here also 30 minus 25 is what? 5. 35 minus 30 is 5. And that is what you can see here. 20 to 25, 25 to 30, 30 to 35, 35 to 40 and up to 60 because we have our uh, ages up to 60. We have taken age up to 60. Now, on this vertical line, we have the frequency that is 2, 6 and all. So we have represented here on this vertical line up to 11. So as we can see here, 50 to 55 age interval has a frequency of what? 11. So 50 to 55 has a frequency of 11 that tells us that 11 teachers fall under this class interval. That is, they have ages between 50 to 55. Right? In the same way we have drawn for each of these class intervals. Okay? So on the horizontal line is the class interval. On the vertical line we have the frequency. Okay. The most important thing you can see here is this one. This amazing thing. This is called zagged line. Zagged line or broken line. Or broken line and why we have drawn it here can you see here we don't have any information between 0 to 20 we don't have any information for 0 to 5 5 to 10 10 to 15 and 15 to 20 because in our example in our example you can see here that the minimum age that we have taken here is 21 and the max age is 60 so there's no teacher in this school that is below the age 20, right? That is why we don't have any information of between 0 to 20. That is what we have done here. Since 
We don't have any information between 0 to 20. That's why we have drawn a zagged line or broken line, right? So the width is same or the width or size is what? Upper limit minus lower limit. Width of each bars, bar is same. And then here we have frequency. This is the way to draw the histogram. Now you can quickly tell us that there are two teachers who, uh, there are two teachers who fall under the age gap, age interval of 20 to 25. In the case of 55 to 60, you have how many teachers? You have five teachers. And in the case of 50 to 55, this age interval tells us that there are 11 teachers.